Argentina, I thought after that All Black performance at um, Wembley Stadium, would go deep into the tournament, and here they are. They are deep into the tournament. They're in a semi-final, and they're a team capable. I said on that day, they pushed the All Blacks probably 60 minutes into that game. They just ran out of. They just didn't have the bench, which is what the All Blacks' biggest strength is. People underestimate how good the All Black bench is. The All Blacks run away with it in 20 minutes. But if Argentina can, you know, get into the 70th minute of Test matches, they're a dangerous side. If they're in, in 70 minutes tomorrow, they could win. I, I really do think they could. They're going to have to play the best I've played in a long time, but they are in good form. Hooper's not as prominent when he's not got that second arriving player, which is Pocock, working with him. So what happens when you go to a breakdown, yes, you go to the breakdown, bang, Hooper's here, he's over the ball, he's causing problems, but then, whoom, in comes Pocock, second arriving player, not first, and he can only do that from the number eight position. So he has to start, you know, regardless of the fact that there's a final next week. This is their final. Australia's final is tomorrow, and he had to play. And I'd, you know, if he doesn't play, Australia are so much weaker. Close to the line, the All Blacks. Oh, ball's been knocked away, and this will be a sin binning for sure. I think this has been knocked away by Bismarck Duplessis, but Carter has it. On it goes to Nanu. Martin Nanu. And from there, the pressure just coming. Oh, Havana's lucky not well, to be in the sin bin. Well, he should be in the sin bin. Doesn't matter whether a try scored, surely, Joel. You can't really? do that. Oh, I, I think, think he's going to go to the bin. Yeah, he's headed off, and Havana's going to be in trouble. Well, I think if you look at the uh, end of the first half, we uh, it was our discipline that was you know, keeping the swing box in the game. So, you know, sometimes when you get un put on adversity, when you're down to 14, uh, you just find that little bit extra, and everyone had to make up for that. And I thought, you know, we, uh, we held our composure well, and right into the field, especially with the greasy ball, and, you know, the points came. You know, we didn't get any surprises today, and uh, we had to bring everything and dig as deep as, you know, we could to, uh, to get the result. But, uh, yeah, one of those test matches that uh, she's a great to be a part of and great to come out on the right side of it. But, uh, if you were going to say what it was going to be like beforehand, you'd say exactly that. Yeah, it's very tough to take. Uh, so close, two points, one conversion, one penalty. Um, credit to both teams. Unbelievable battle out there. It's a great game. Unfortunately, we come into a losing side. Yeah, it's, when we had ball in hand, it, was, it also went well. But um, unfortunately, we couldn't get a try. Uh, credit to All Blacks that played well. My name's Shane Williams and these are some of the top tries from the World Cup. 2003 quarter-final against England, I remember um, receiving a loose kick on the left, seeing that it was Ben Kay in front of me, didn't take much to, to beat Ben on the day, stepped inside, lucky enough I had great support from Garth Cooper, eventually Garth Thomas go to the ball, and, he, and as you can see from the pass, I just managed to hold on to it before being smashed into the side boards by Ben Cohen, Steam Jones caught it and, and we scored that try and I think it was voted the best try in 2003 World Cup. Well, Jonah Lomo versus England, one of the best games I've ever seen in rugby, one of the best tries. Takes a loose ball, decides he's just, there's only one place he's going, and that's straight. Straight over the top of two, three England defenders to score the try. Probably one of the best tries in World Cup history, certainly one of the most talked about. Fiji 2007, my try. I took a pass off of Tom Shanklin, just decided to go for it, put my, put my foot down, went for a cheeky little chip, changed my mind last minute, which uh, completely put off the Fijian defenders and managed to get under the post. I don't know about the dive, the dive was pretty shocking, but uh, scored the try and eventually, uh, unfortunately I should say, lost the match. Robinson versus Australia, one of those where Johnny Wilkinson 
obviously with uh, with the class he has managed to find half a gap and as soon as you put Jason Robinson in any space whatsoever on the outside there's no stopping him one of the best players to ever play the game and uh, one of the best players I've ever played against great time to score and obviously went on to help England win the World Cup